Well, hello there and good evening, folks. Welcome to another episode of 162 Times, your daily baseball recap and preview show. I'm your host, Daniel Turner. Great to be with you, bringing you the action from the Seattle Mariners game on Thursday, September 12th, and looking ahead to the game on Friday, September 13th. Hope everyone's had a good week. We'll also do the scores from around the majors on a slow Thursday night in baseball. Mariners are at home again, this time taking on divisional rivals, the Texas Rangers. Um, and in game one of the series, unfortunately, the Mariners fell 5-4 to those Rangers. Rangers now 71-76, and third in the West. Mariners dropped to 74-73, and second in the American League West. It was former Mariner Matt Festa getting the win, the reliever. 4-1 and now, 7.53 ERA on the season. Wow. Colin Snyder took the loss for the M's. 3-3, 1.49 ERA. And Kirby Yates got his 30th save of the year, 1.27 ERA for him. Rangers had nine hits for five runs. M's had six hits for four runs and one error. Uh, the starting pitching for the Mariners was Bryce Miller. I thought he looked good. Five hits over six innings, one run, one walk, seven Ks, and a homer. 3.12 ERA on the season for him. It was a uh, newcomer rocker for the Texas Rangers who threw four innings in his major league debut. Three hits, one run, two walks, seven Ks, and a homer. Excellent debut for him. 2.25 ERA now on lifetime. It was Garabito, Chafin, Festa, Robertson, and Yates out of the pen. For the Rangers, that was three hits given up by that crew, uh, three runs as well, three walks, and a pretty high five, eight, nine strikeouts. So 16 strikeouts by Rangers pitchers last night. Uh, pretty bad, but typical of the Mariners to strike out that many times. Mariner pitching following Miller was Troy Taylor for an inning, Snyder, Saucedo, and Voth. Uh, so uh, they... Gave up four hits, four runs. Only two of them were earned. Two home runs. No Ks or walks. So seven Ks on the night for M's pitching. Um, let's see how the scoring played out. So it started with Josh Young, seventh of the year, one nothing Texas after two. Bottom of four, Justin Turner got it back with his tenth of the year to tie the game at one. Bottom of five, Randy Rosarena singled in Victor Robles and Julio Rodriguez to give the Seattle Mariners a 3-1 lead. A wild pitch in the same interview by Andrew Chafin allowed Cal Raleigh to score to make it 4-1. But top of seven, Nathaniel Lowe made it 4-2 on a solo shot, 13th of the year. Then Marcus Simeon, a solo shot, 21st of the year. It's 4-3 after eight. Uh, Adolis Garcia grounded out in that same inning, allowed Josh Smith to score, tied the game with two outs. Then Nathaniel Lowe... Breaks hearts by singling in Wyatt Langford for the game-winning run in the eighth. Brutal. The Mariners have lost a lot of games in the eighth inning in recent memory, and it's hurting my feelings. Uh, Robles leading off was 3-for-3 three three with a run. Crawford's batting eighth in the order because Robles is just money. Uh, anyway, that's that. Let's look ahead to tonight's game. Um, they're taking on those same Rangers game two of the series. Uh, in terms of your uh, starting pitchers in this one, for your Seattle Mariners, it'll be Emerson Hancock making a start. Emerson Hancock. I haven't seen him in a while. He's 3-4 and four this season, 4.84 year A, 10 games started, four, 48 innings pitched, 1.37 whip. Not amazing numbers. A young man from Cairo, Georgia, uh, who was touted as the fifth starter for some time, but if Miller started last night, normally it would go to Castillo to reboot the order, but maybe they're giving Castillo another night off. I'll have to look a little further after we finish this part of the show. The Rangers will be throwing Jacob deGrom on the hill, former Cy Young winner with the New York Mets, Jacob deGrom, who holds an 84-57 and 57 lifetime record, lifetime ERA of 2.52, and a .99 lifetime whip. He's really good. He has not started a game yet this year. This is his first start. Um... Anyhow, in terms of the lineup behind DeGrom, it'll be Simeon at second, Smith at short, Langford in center, Garcia in right, Lowe at first, Young at third, Heim behind the plate, Duran in left, and Kelly DHing in the nine hole. The Mariners will roll out Robles in right, Rodriguez in center, Raleigh at catcher, Rosarena in left, Rayleigh at first, Turner DHing, Polanco at second, Crawford at short, and Rojas at third. So, good lineup for the Mariners. We hope for the best. They've got to win this game. Um, and... Part of the reason they've got to win this game is despite the athletics doing the Mariners a favor uh, two nights ago, um, the Astros beat them last night. So we'll talk about the scores in a second, but I just want to look up the um, 
the transaction. So the Mariners designated Sebi Zavala, the backup catcher for assignment. They recalled right-hander Emerson Hancock from Tacoma. They sent first baseman Jason Vosler outright to Tacoma. They transferred Jimmy Garcia from the 15-day IL to the 60-day IL with right elbow inflammation. That's tough. Um, And they put the right-hander Luis Castillo, the rock, on the 15-day IL. React retroactive to September 9th with a left hamstring strain. That's tough. That's basically like, you know, this roster starting pitchers have been so good all year without injury. Like literally a championship starting rotation. And Castillo hurt his leg. You know, it's bound to happen at some point. Anyway, hope Emerson has a good game tonight. On Thursday, elsewhere in the majors, the Rockies beat the Tigers 4-2. That's good for the Mariners in the wildcard chase. The Cardinals over the Reds 6-1. Astros 6, Athletics 3, boo. Marlins 3, Nats 3. Rays beat the Guardians 5-2. Yankees beat the Red Sox 2-1. That's also good for the Mariners in the wildcard. And the Brewers beat the Giants 3-1. So wildcard standings, divisional standings. We're going to do this every day now, I think, when we have time. M's are four and a half back of Houston going into tonight, and they are four back in the wild card. So in the wild card, it's the Twins in the final wild card position that will make the playoffs. They have a 78 and 69 record. Uh, the Tigers are two and a half back of them at 76 and 72. The Mariners, 73 and 70, uh, 74 and 73. Pardon me, four games back. Red Sox, 74 and 74. Tampa is 73 and 75, five and a half back. So. Look, they're not out of it yet, but we are really closing in on the final 15 games of the season. And the M's have got to start winning a lot of them. Ironically, they have the best run differential of any team in that that I've just mentioned with a plus 44. Twins have a plus 37, so it is what it is. All right, folks, keep cheering for the M's. We'll get them tomorrow.